How'd it go with the midwife? Do you have to show everything at the top of your voice? There's no one here. Why would I go and see the midwife when I don't care what happens to the baby? I didn't choose you from mother. It serves a chance just like everyone. If you want to survive out there, you shouldn't be so easy to wind up. So when are you going? Now. Can I come? What do you think? I won't say a word. God, I wish it was you having this baby. Then we'd all be happy. Well, I'd make a way better mother than you. There's no doubt about that. Probably because I'm not getting pregnant on 30. If that. Hmm. Well, let me know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll rush back and I'll tell you every word you see. And then oh, we can have a baby shower. Mm, I love being pregnant, me. Right, I'm off. Where are you going now? Work. I'm on afternoons. Gabby's much better. Right. Oh, Gabby wants pudding and Arthur needs picking up at four. Yeah, I am aware of that. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. Oops. Bad timing. No worse than usual. Middle of a row. What? I, I, I just thought you might have broached the subject of Marlon with her. Oh, did you? If you don't communicate, it's no wonder that your marriage is in trouble. Why the hell would you say that? Can't you just leave it alone for one single minute? I'm sorry, I don't know what's got into me. Listen, you can't pretend that everything's OK and just carry on as usual. You're in danger of losing your wife. The question is, what are you doing about it? I've done everything I could in the barn, and all these need is signing. Nice one. I thought I might um, get a Chinese tonight, yeah, or fish and chips. Not bothered, whatever. How long's she gone for? No idea. Well, I'll cook tonight then. Stuff in the freezer. No, you're right, it's my treat. Well, if she's going to be gone for a while, we can't afford takeaways every night, Dad, can we? Suit yourself. Right, I'm going to go finish in the barn. <sighs> Declan came back from the funeral. What happened? Well, Declan started marving off, and then my dad being my dad, it's him. I've never seen him like this before. I know, tell me about it. What are we gonna do? Where are you going? I have a word with my mum. Find out what the hell's going on. Amy Wyatt? Yep. Like to come through. Right, so... Before you say anything, you have to promise us something or I'm not staying. What's that? After all that my foster parents will never know that I've been pregnant. OK. Because if you can't promise us, then I'm turning around and going straight home. And you won't be able to run your stupid tests or whatever it is you want to do. I mean it. If you really think that's best, I'm bound by patient confidentiality, so you're safe. I'm Kirsty. I'm going to be your midwife until you don't need me anymore. I've got a lot to get through. Why don't you take a seat? Well, it's hard enough for him to get his head around. Mm. Well, that's life. It's going to have to move on, isn't it? So when you got together with, um, with... What, Ruby. Ruby, yeah. Did you still love your husband? I suppose so. But not like I used to. I mean, I didn't mean to fall for a girl. I didn't know I could. <laughs> My life is a complete mess at the minute, but I'm happier than I ever were with him. No regrets then? <laughs> yeah, loads. <laughs> I regret him acting like a pillock, using the kids against me. That's the side I didn't know. Yeah, but aren't you scared that if it doesn't work out with Ruby, you've lost them both? Mm. Nah, because if it were all that were down, I wouldn't have fallen for her in the first place. Go back in. Good time? Oh. Uh, break's just nearly finished. I've come to give you fair warning. Uh, well, what about? I was hoping to whisk you off somewhere exotic for dinner tonight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but Nicola's only got them till seven, so we could settle for the wool pack. Oh, no, Dan had been a little bit more like that. I'll uh, leave it to him. <laughs> 
You don't want a night in, then? I feel we need the time for the two of us. No kids, no dad. Mm. And there's something I want to put to you. What? We'll talk tonight. Oh, no, no, come on, give us a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want you to think that I'm putting any pressure on you at all. But go on. But I've looked in the diary, and there are a couple of dates for you for our renewal. If we wanted to go ahead, but I don't need an answer now. Tell me tonight, whatever you think. <laughs> right. I think it's about time we talked about birth plan. What, like, if I have it in a swimming pool with the wheel music and that? Like, if you have it at home or in a hospital? At home. Yeah, you could keep Valner distracted while I drop it in one of the bedrooms upstairs. Then we'll just sneak it out. You'll never know. OK. Home might not be such a good idea in your case. Look, I want it in hot in general, with every single drug you've ever heard of. In fact, it's not goes out on me because I want it to be adopted. It's not going to be that bad, you know. If it was, nobody'd have a second, would they? Dr. Abbott said that if Hakeem told me any nails, that she would get the adoption process going. It's all in hand. But, you know, the further down the line you get, the more people are going to know. You're social worker for one. They can't. Listen, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure your foster parents don't find out, OK? You have to trust me. Hey! All right. I'm looking for my mum. Not being past, is she? I would have noticed. Oh. Is there anything wrong? Something up with her and my dad. Well, like what? I don't know. I think it's serious. Oh, yeah? She's moved out and gone to the B&B. Said she's going to go stay with her nan tomorrow. Right. Can't find her anywhere. Diane's not seen her. Well, I'm not hiding her away. You can check anywhere you like. <laughs> so if there's anything I can do to help... Holly! What are you doing with him? Just on my way to the shop. Get back in the car. Dad! Just do it now. What have you said to her? Just having a gossip, you know? He's breaking up with her, that kind of thing. You say another word to any of my family and it'll be a last. Do you understand? Dad, come on, let's go. I'm serious. Dad! Right, I think we're sorted. Nothing else you want to ask me? I'll probably think of something as soon as I get out the door. Me foster parents make life a lot easier if you had their support. You haven't met them. How do I know you're not just going to think you know best and tell them yourself? Like I said, even if I was allowed to, I wouldn't. Nor will anyone else. I'll need to see you every other week now. But here's a number. You can get me or one of the team any time if you just want to chat or anything. Amy, I know it's scary, but you'll get through this and everything will be all right. Anything you need to talk about, just call. Thank you. What are you doing? I just need a pint. Dad! And you got shopping to do or something. What was all that about with Kane? It's nothing. Why were you threatening him, then? It's just getting to me about your mum going, and I took you out on the first person I saw, that's all. We'll be back in a bit. If you told me what was happening, I might be able to help. There's nothing you can do, believe me. Has she been in? I haven't seen her all day. Just a pint, please, Dad. I just want to say, I'm really sorry for what's going on. Does everyone know? Only me, I think. Well, let's just keep it that way, then, eh? She knows she's made a mistake. I'm sorry, Dan, but I really don't want to talk about this with you. Fair enough. 
for what it's worth, I think she's been an absolute idiot. And if there's anything you need... You know what? Just forget the drink. I'd rather be on my own. Evening. All right. Oh, yeah, lovely to see you. Come on. Ali Dan's here. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Oh, no, you're fine. The kids are excited. Dad! Can't we do pizza first? I'm starving. Don't see why not. You ready, then? Uh, it's just the kids. Mm. Thought you might change your mind. I'm cooking for me and Ruby. All right, could stay if you want. Have a night in. Oh, we're making the most of having the place to ourselves. Are you? Hmm. I thought we were going bowling. Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, come on. What are you waiting for? Uh, don't be too late. It's a school night. Have fun. Can we go to the pictures instead? No! Be good! So, making the most of the place to ourselves, are we? Yes, we are. <laughs> Actually, I can't see Gabby eating with this, man. No, I know. I suppose it's quite spicy. Mm. Delicious. Uh, I'm not in the mood for coffee. Good. I'll ignore you, then. I mean, mum and dad, right? Happiest couple in the world. If they can split up, anyone can. Splitting up, really? No. They just, just had a row, that's all. Well, you know what they say. Don't think we do. A marriage is only a good one until something better comes along. Yeah, well, that ain't what's happened. Are you sure? Right, well, on that note, chaps. Hey, Lisa. You're free. All right. Oh, your fault. Yeah, heading into town. Mm -hmm. Making a night of it. Gonna let our hair down. But you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Have a job, wouldn't you? <laughs> hey, come with us if you like. Have to raise your game, obviously. Uh, we've got plans, but thanks. Another time. Oh, what are you doing? Just having a, a drink with Adam. Kids. Got a nice stamina, eh? What are you having? Just don't want to do flying with Sambucas. Oh, she will now, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. Town, that ain't a bad shout. Are you up for it? I don't know. Oh, come on. As long as we don't go anywhere near them. Right. You're on. Mm. Pretty sure it is. Managed to give it any thought at work? Sorry, uh, finished? Yes, thanks. Well, still some left, shall I come back? No, 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 you can clear them up. Mm. Everything all right with it? Fine. Laurel? Yeah, it was lovely. I'm just not very hungry. I mean, if there's anything wrong, I can bring you something no, else. No, no, we didn't really come for the food, just to talk. Care to see the dessert menu? Uh, just coffee, thanks. Be right back. Well, you know these couples that go off to a beach somewhere to renew their vows? Isn't that because they've had problems or they feel they need to? Is it? Because we're fine. We made ours on our wedding day and I don't feel any different. I still mean them. And I love my life with you together. You know, if it ain't broke. Just, you know, I just don't feel we need to, you know... Stop. Right, right, if that's how you feel. But <laughs> I haven't decided, though, fully. I haven't had a minute to think it through, so, uh, women's prerogative. I might just keep you waiting. <laughs> Accidentally used salt instead of sugar. No, no, uh, we only had instant coffee. I wanted to see if they'd noticed. It's not as if anything would change. Except we'd have to fork out for the do and everything, wouldn't we? <laughs> I was looking at it from a more romantic point of view. I'm not saying no, Ashley. I'm just thinking it through. I feel like I've been proposed to all over again. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll just finish this and I'm off. No, no, stay and have another. I'm just going to nip to the ladies. <clears throat> uh, sorry if I... Interrupted. It gives me a chance to apologise. We'll say no more about that. It was unforgivable and it won't happen again. I shouldn't interfere. No, 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 you should. You're part of the family. And 
I want you to be the first to hear that I've asked Laurel to consider renewing our vows. Have you indeed? I just think you're right. Sometimes a couple can start to take one another for granted. And you've decided that's what's been happening, have you? No. But it won't do us any harm to re-examine exactly how much our marriage means to us. Ah. Let me get you another. Oh. <laughs> well, if we're going out, we need to get changed then, don't we? No one bother, mate. No one's going to be looking at you anyway. Hey! <laughs> well, we're going out then or not? Right, listen. This isn't because you want me to meet someone new, is it? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I... You're right. I mean, it's always about you, isn't it? Can't be me just wanting to get stupidly drunk, could it? Right. Well, that's settled then. We're getting drunk because of your problems and not mine. Does it even matter? No. Right, look. We're getting drunk because Mia's dead and Jackson's dead and... To be honest, I can't think of a better idea. Right. But just so you know, no matter how bladded you get, I'm not carrying you on. Ditto. Thanks for helping us. It's OK. Did it go OK with the midwife? Baby's fine. You actually went? Hmm? She was dead nice, gave us a birth plan and everything. Don't suppose you've decided to keep it? <laughs> Have a heck. I'm just borrowing this 20. Well, man, what's the use having that big brain of yours if you haven't got a sense of humour to go with it? One last round before home? No, I'm going to get back for the kids. Oh, oh, quick one won't hurt. Would you mind, Dad? I'll be right back. Uh, Thank you. Uh. What's going on? It's like you're planning a funeral. Laurel? He's asked me to renew our wedding vows. What did you say? I'd to think about it. What are you going to do? I don't know. I mean, I can't put them off for too long, can I? Get married again. Sandy's looking at us. Uh, I've got to see you. No, it's too hard. Please. I don't know if I can handle this. I really don't. Just outside in five minutes. Oh, it's too difficult. Instant coffee. Oh, cut back soon. <laughs> I suppose you want to skip the food plate, do you? Oh, after all the work I've put in, mm -hmm. you are going to have to learn to be patient. We're not going now. What? He's got no money. Dan! I got to the pizza place and I realised I didn't have my wallet. I must have dropped it on the bus. Right, well, go look for it. Well, I've run lost property. There's no one there till the morning. Right, I'll lend you it. <sighs> but we're here now, aren't we? It's getting late. I'll take him out another time. Smells good. You know what? Could be a blessing, this. Family night in, and me and Ruby get a chance to get to know each other a bit better. Mm. You, uh, haven't got a beer, have you? The burning question is, is it going to be a big event? I shouldn't think so. I mean, do I need to have my suit vacuumed or something? <laughs> oh! What? I forgot my purse. It's in the pub. I'll go and get it. No, 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 you go and fetch your kids. I can't bear turning up this late for Nicola anyway. Oh, so that's your plan? Leave me to face the music? Well, she'll be nice to you. Really? <laughs> Ashley, thanks for supper. See you at home. Come on, Dad, I might send you into distractor while I sneak the kids out the back. Oh, 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 dear. <laughs> Come. I've just got a minute, OK? This is how it's going to be from now on, isn't it? Snatching a few quick seconds here and there as soon as his back's turned. I don't know. I hope not. If I'm lucky. You renew these vows, you might not want to see me again. I will. You say that. But you'll change your mind. You'll remember why you loved him. Yourself for even looking at me. I'd never do that. You don't think you will? Marlon, you know how I feel about you. Please don't say yes. Please. I can't bear it. 
watching you marry him again. I'm already married. Yeah, but that was before. I don't think I can do it. I, I suppose I'm just kidding myself, thinking that I can have the best of both worlds. I don't have the best of any. You go back to him every night. I can't keep seeing you together. I know. I know, I've got to stand back. And watch you tell him that you'll always love him. And no one else. I can't do this anymore. I need all or nothing. What do you mean? You either say these vows, or you stay with him. Or you leave him. Oh. And be with me. All the time. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I, I just can't see any other way. So will Laurel walk out on her marriage to be with Marlon? Actor Mark Charnock, who plays the lovelorn chef, spills the beans in an interview at itv.com slash Emmerdale. It's live England versus Sweden from Wembley next and after a night off here, Ant and Deck will be back with all the jungle news tomorrow night at 8.30 in an extra long programme.